Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a sherry. Call me like a sherry. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, go over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now, now that you're part of the family, I need you to do something for me. It's just like, literally, like having homework on the first day of school. That thing that I need for you to do, it helps us grow. We want you to do it on an everyday basis. Here we go. What I need for you to do is... Comment, comment, comment like you share and go take for the team. Comment like you share and go take for the team. Comment like you share and don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment like you share. Okay, you guys, here we go. Today, we are doing. B Love's Life is back at it again. And y'all know when they put it out there into something hot, I cannot refuse to do it. So here we go. We have five packs of the Sam Yang Two Times Spicy Noodles. The Two Times Spicy Sam Yang Spicy Noodles. Okay, I've already put these little packs on there. I've got my red packs open over here to the side. I have some albino cucumbers because that's what's growing my garden outside. I've got my del my uh, boiled eggs here, and I've got the jalapenos. Let's pray and get into the food. Amen. All right, y'all. I got my little sauce package that I already cut open over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move these eggs out of the way. And my jalapenos, because baby, let me tell y'all something. I had a time with this stuff. Y'all believe my noodles is overcooked. That's all right. I remember from the last time not to put that package in my mouth, though, and heat it up before I ever get started good. Y'all know that plate, that white plate, I didn't think about it. I was just trying to get the challenge done. That white plate may be washing my stuff out. But as soon as I get the noodles red, y'all know this stuff here look like blood. Then you'll be able to see it. So if it is washed out right now, I'm sorry. I hope that it's not. I hope that it's not, but either way, we're finna get it in. Five packs, y'all. She didn't say I had to, we had to eat them all. She just said she, this is the 10 times, which is five of the two time noodles. Mm. I love the flavor. Look at y'all, my poor noodles. That's all right. We finna get them together. Ooh. Five packs. Now your boy, can eat. But baby, five packs, that's a lot. I got to get them loosened up here, y'all, to get them all mixed up here. Y'all, I watched two videos this morning, and I guess I just, I don't know, it kind of touched me a little bit what both of the videos were saying. There was a video by B Love's Life, whose challenge we're doing right now. Shout out to B Love. Shout out to you, baby doll. You're doing your thing. We love it. Congratulations on all your successes. And we wish you many, many more. Many, many more, Miss B Love. So look, y'all, this is what I'm gonna do. If they ain't mixed up well enough now, we'll find it along the way. But you know we got something else for this anyway. All right, y'all, we're gonna leave them right there. Now, the thing to this challenge is it's a no utensil challenge. Over here, y'all, I got my cayenne pepper. I've had these noodles before. And these noodles were hot, yes, but y'all know we gotta do it lip style. We gotta do it lip style, baby. And if you don't get down and do it lip style, Legion went up in the tell them, You have lied to me, and I know you lied. Period. <laughs> so, okay, I got the lip tie sauce over here. I'm just gonna go out and try to get it as ready as I can before we get started. Because I know we're going to need this good lips hot sauce. Because I got to talk to you. I got to talk to you guys today. 
I was watching B Love's Life. I watched many videos this morning. I watched Cousin A.B. She's great. Love her to death. Now we're going to put our eggs back up here, y'all. Okay. Now, we already prayed. Now, everybody else, camera don't be hating right now. Hold on a minute. Be low. Hold on. I got some tea. But for my leads and everybody else, I love you guys so much. I'm glad you're here. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. You guys, today is day seven of our Nothing But Water Challenge. Well, not challenge, but Nothing But Water on the Lips Challenge. Thank you guys for participating so, so much. Let's see if it's refreshing. Mm. Yes, he is. Now, everybody else, camera gonna be hating. Everybody else, except for B-Love, close your ears. Okay? B-Love, check this out, bad dog. I'm gonna do this challenge, and there's no utensils, right? I'm gonna do that. But B-Love, I just went and got these nails done yesterday. They white. B-Love. I'm going to use a glove, but I'm going to eat this food. I'm going to get down. Okay, everybody else other than B-Love, let your ears go. Y'all, me and B-Love just discussed I'm going to have to use this good glove because y'all know your boy just changed the nail yesterday. And they white. But we're going to do this challenge. Now, because we cannot let these hot ones go by. This is our stuff. Now, here we go, y'all. Oh, by the way. We in to get down, in to get down, sure. Hey, we in to get down, in to get down, sure. Hey, for those of y'all that don't know, we ain't finna mess up our clothes and we know it's gonna be messy. We're gonna put on the get down shirt and we're gonna get down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, loud. Mm mm mm. La, la, la. Here we go, y'all. Hey, cayenne on the top. I don't want it to choke me out. Five packs of these noodles. La, la, la. Be love. What you doing to us? What you doing to us? Here we go, y'all. First bite. Y'all want some? There you go. Mmm. 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 Mm. One thing about these noodles, I love the flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. I broke my egg. Mmm. 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 Oh. Ten times, spicy noodle. Uh, let me get used to the shock. Uh, the heat first. Mm. And then we're going to get the topping. Better yet. Mm. Let me get Big Ben on the case because I'm ready to start talking now. Okay, y'all. So, this morning, when I saw this good challenge, B Love was talking about mm, newer content creators like doing things like spamming up people's comments. And she was like, she don't mind you self promoting. Mm. Mm. As long as you be kind and courteous to her and watch her videos, feel that. Let me tell you why this touched me so much. When I first became a content creator, we all have our favorites. We all watch who we watch. Mm. Now, with that being said, you know, I feel like that 
they, and I'm new to the YouTube world. I've only been here since March the 21st. I'm new. So, I may not know everything about the whole YouTube etiquette. But what I do know is, when I first started, I didn't know what to do. I had no help. So, I did go into people's comments and say, hey, how you doing? I'm new to the community. I have a channel named Lips. So on and forth, so, I mean, so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Now, uh, I got chastised by, at the time, my most favorite mukbanger, mukbanger, that I was a fan of prior to me starting YouTube. Mm. And they basically told me, for lack of better words, just stay out of that comment. Now, I don't have any problem with that. Now, and I still continue to watch. I still do watch. However, I feel that some people that do do the type of thing in the wrong manner, like B Love says, make it hard for the people who are very, very genuine, want to be a part of the community. And I think that the pressures of what people have done in the past or are doing doesn't hurt, you know, some of the newer content creators that really, really love the bigger content creator. You know, with that being said, we all know the grind so far. You learn the grind quick. When you get into this, you learn to grind. And I'm a hardworking person, so I'm going to grind. But let me get on to what, I, what, what I'm trying to get to. I feel that the newer YouTubers, we may not get the experience of growing and you know, get accepted into the community right away because of what others done. And it takes the fun, so to speak, out of it for us. Because, prime example, like I told you, this particular YouTuber chastised me and told me that what I was doing was incorrect. And stay out of the comments. And I never once said anything like, come view my channel. Oh, never was I trying to solicit people out of um, this particular YouTuber's uh, comments. Mm. But, what it done was, Mm. Yeah, this stuff hot. But this conversation I'm talking about is so important to me, I'm just taking it. But be low! Ten times, baby! Ten times! So anyway, like I said, this particular content creator told me I was doing wrong. If I'm a content creator, stay out of a content creator's comments. You're making a lot of comments and spamming, like they said, spamming up the comments. Now, I'm going to just say, case in fact, I love Steph and Tasha. Love them. Most of you all that follow me, if you follow Steph and Tasha, you know, you see me in the comments. Because I love me some Steph and Tasha. Now, with that being said, 
even with Steph and Tasha, I now, I don't comment. Like, I will comment on videos, you know, here and there. But I slacked up on coming on their videos because people, for me, I get ragged a lot about Steph and Tasha because they say that I'm in their comments basically just trying to grow that I genuinely don't like them. And that's not the truth. I genuinely love those ladies. As a matter of fact, this morning, Oh, it's hot. My lips is hot, y'all. They had a Stephen Tosh had a video this morning about how, you know, the whole prayer and God element of their lives shine through. And they, at one point in time, didn't have what they have now. But they still took their last and gave to feed another family, you know. Now, a person next week that genuine loves people like that, take their last to feed people, and you can tell that they done it out of their heart. It wasn't for a thank you or a you did this for me type of thing. When you know they done it, from their hearts, how could you not love that type of person? But, yet and still, because of the pressures of YouTube and how people think that the next one is always just out to grow from you or build a relationship with you strictly because they want to grow from you, it makes it hard on a younger, not younger in age, younger in time on YouTube, a younger YouTuber. It just makes it hard. It really, really does. Be it all. I'm getting full, baby. Good. Anyway, I just think sometimes the newer YouTubers, the ones of us that are serious about this, Truly want to grind. Want to make a name for themselves. You know, it's harder for us. Because we get thrown in the bucket, or in the basket, of what other people have done or tried to do. And that's simply not the case. It's simply not the case with a lot of us. There's a lot of us out here, as you see, I upload no less than five, six days a week um, because I want my channel. I love being with my people. I love my legion. I love you guys so much. I love you guys. I love my legion. And I love doing YouTube. I really do. And it's just sad that because of what others have done, it's harder for a newer YouTuber. Be love. Be news will swirl up in me, baby. I can't handle them. I can't handle them, be love. I can't handle them. They're hot. But it's a lot of them. Five packs. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. I can't eat no more, y'all. I did pretty good. That may be about a pack and a half. Ugh. It ain't the heat. I can take the heat. There's just so many. And then pasta swell up in me. Mm. Y'all. They news is hot. But I had to get that out. I had to say that. Because I know in my particular case, I am a newer YouTuber, but I came here to work. 
I don't have a problem with, with um, you know, because I need time to protect, to perfect my craft anyway. I'm here to work. I constantly try to elevate my channel, make my channel better, see what you guys want to see. You know, I'm very interactive with my legion. You guys know that. I love you guys. At this point, I have still been able to. I answer every single comment that I get. And I have a lot. And I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. I just feel like the content creators, the larger content creators or the older content creators, not in age, in the age of their show. Sometimes some of us get bad raps for what other people have done. And that's not what we're here for. I'm here to work. I am. Y'all ain't been eating them up. They hot below. Great challenge. I loved it. I loved it. I'm so sorry that I ended up having to get this off my chest during your challenge, but I love you, baby doll. Like I said, congratulations on all your successes. Shout out to Steph and Tasha. I love you, ladies. And let me tell you one more thing about Steph and Tasha, just to clear it up, because I get a lot of bad rap about Steph and Tasha, and I love Steph and Tasha. If Steph and Tasha put it out, I'm on it, baby. I'm all over there on the blog channel and everything. I love me for Steph and Tasha. So with that being said, I love Steph and Tasha so, so, so much because they're great people. But also, in this LGBTQ community, you guys, we need people to represent us in the correct form and manner. So that people will understand, and maybe we can squash a lot of the prejudices about the LGBT community. That's the reason why I try my best to uphold myself to the highest of respect, growth, uh, mannerisms, the whole deal. And Steph and Tasha do it excellently. Excellently, Steph and Tasha represent our community in a, in a positive and a great light. So, that's why I love them so much. Outside of them just being great, oh, by the way, Team Tasha, baby. Team Tasha! I'm Team Tasha, baby, all day long. My guy, what's up? So, anyway, back to the story. You guys really and truly... I have enjoyed this. Be love life. This is hot. But as you see, your boy can handle it. I can handle it. I put a little cayenne on there. Oh, I didn't eat, I didn't eat none of my pepper, y'all. So I know somebody needs your life. Where the pepper is? My bad. I, I had to get that off my chest, y'all. That has been really in me a while. Because people just don't understand. Or, you know, like I said, an older YouTuber don't understand that. Some of us just come here to work. We just love you. We're not in your comments because we leave 10 comments. I leave 10 comments because I have 10 things to say to you because I love you. But I'm not there to try to grow from you. I'm there because I genuinely love you. I don't watch people that I don't want to see. Mm. Mm. I think I have another little room there, y'all. I have no more room. Mm. Anyway, y'all finna get out of here. Y'all finna get out of here. Oh, I got that stuff all over, big man. I mean, y'all know I get the bean in here? Let me bean get the stuff out of my mouth so I can get up out of here. You hey, happy, love? I thank you so much for your time. I love you, baby doll. Mm. Step and Tyson, Cover Way B. I thank you guys so, so much for standing in the gap for any and all of our community. You guys represent us very, very well. I love you guys so much, and I hope and pray that one day I will be just as good of or as an impressive uh, person to represent us. I hope that I can. I'm going to do my best. And remember, you guys, all smaller YouTubers, not smaller, but all newer YouTubers, not in age, but in age of the, their channel, we really just love you. And I think that that's the part of YouTube that makes it not fun for 
a newer content creator. Because like I said, we're punished for what others have done. And I ain't here for that. I work. And I put up five, six, sometimes seven. Sometimes I don't have a day off. Anyway, I'm ramming on again. Y'all finna get out of here? Here we go. You guys know we wore this yesterday. But b Love wanted us to do all this right here. So we had to get in to get down, in to get down. Sure. Y'all, we finna go. In closing, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, remember, there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people, get there. I love you all. I'm going to see you guys next time. And guess what? If you're not here, that includes you, B-Love. If you're not here the next time to watch me, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye. I love you guys. Wow.